First up right now at 6, some much anticipated testimony on day 18 of the Michelle Traconis trial. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Sinney. And I'm Erin Connolly. A man who once worked for Fotos Dulos took the stand today. He actually owned the red pickup truck police say was connected to the disappearance of Jennifer Farber Dulos. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland has been in court every day of this trial. He is live right now outside breaking it all down. Matt. Well, good evening, Mark and Aaron. In exchange for his testimony, Pavel Gumiani was given full immunity, meaning state wouldn't prosecute him for hindering prosecution in this case as long as he cooperated and told the truth. And on the stand, he had plenty to say. And we want to warn you, some of the testimony could be considered a little vulgar. Have you ever been to Jennifer Dulos' home in New Canaan at 69 Wells Lane? No. Pavel Gumiani telling jurors he'd been driving Fotis Dulos' Ford Raptor for work that week. But when he tried picking up his own truck later that afternoon in Farmington, a red Toyota Tacoma, he said Dulos and his girlfriend, Michelle Traconis, appeared surprised to see him. Police theorized Dulos used Gumiani's truck to drive down to New Canaan that day and kill Jennifer. Traconis is charged with helping him cover it up. I have my doubts, but I still... I still... Couldn't fit in my head that, that Dulos would go and, um, and do something to Jennifer. In the days after Jennifer went missing, Gumiani testified he learned Dulos had his truck washed and the interior cleaned, with Dulos later pressuring him to replace the seats in the Tacoma, and Gumiani getting suspicious. Seriously, why did you clean my truck? And he says, don't worry about it. There's nothing going on. He says eventually he swapped the seats out with seats from an old Porsche Cayenne being stored at a property owned by Dulos. Gumiani testified he started getting nervous when Dulos allegedly told him not to talk to the police. But he never asked Dulos about what happened to Jennifer, saying he was afraid of losing his job. As for his interaction with Michelle, Gumiani said he had a conversation with her shortly after Jennifer vanished. Michelle was upset that um, um, her and her daughter pictures were posted by the news online um, and she said uh, I'm, I'm gonna kill the bitch when she's gonna turn up and um, I said don't say that. A far different picture painted by the Traconis family outside of court. I rarely know her to speak ill of anyone. She loves her daughter and would do nothing to put her in jeopardy. Now, as for those truck seats that Gumiani said Dulos wanted him to swap out and get rid of, he says he actually kept them, not knowing if police would want them at some point, and eventually he did turn them over, testifying that he just wanted to do the right thing. He'll be back on the stand tomorrow morning. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom outside Stanford Superior Court. Matt McFarlane, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Matt,